Okay, so today we're gonna do a deep dive into the lakeshore area. You may have heard people uh, tell you Bell River is a nice spot to live, or Emeryville, or Lakeshore. That's all sort of referring to the t same area, okay? So, this area right here is Lakeshore. It's a municipality, okay? Within Lakeshore, there's two older towns that aren't their own town anymore, okay? Emeryville and Bell River. When people talk about Bell River, they're referring to this spot west of Rourke Line. So this street right here, okay? And that's Bell River. Um, some of the oldest houses are like downtown St. Charles, Bell River. But most homes in this area are built within the last 20 years. A lot of them built within the last 10 years. It's just a giant suburbia is what it is. So here's what you need to figure out if you're thinking about moving here. Are you okay with living... 25 minutes, 20 minutes from the nearest Walmart, and 30 minutes from the nearest Costco, okay? Like, it's a drive into town when you need to go get something. Home Depot, that's East Windsor is your nearest Home Depot. There is a Home Hardware, you know, they're always in smaller communities in Bell River, but there's no big Home Depot for you to go shop around it. There's no big Walmart, there's no big Costco, all these things. There's no Canadian Tire? I don't think there is in Bell River. Um... It's all over in Windsor, okay? So you are a good 20 minutes away. Now, honestly, it's not that long of a drive most times of the day, except for rush hour traffic. Here's the problem if you're going to live here, okay? Highway 22, it's essentially the only road out there. 5 o'clock, it sucks, dude. It's backed up. There's a ton of traffic. It's not great. Um, alternatively, you could take 42, but even that's gets backed up sometimes as well, all right? But aside from 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., it's usually not too bad. It's usually a quick drive out there. Bell River uh, area is really nice because it's right on Lake St. Clair, okay? This is where you get all that really nice fishing and everything. This is uh, a lot of people like to go boating and do all sorts of stuff on the water out here. And uh, it's a beach town, Bell River is. Like the, the marina is right here, and this is their big beach. We'll go over all that in a little bit more detail later on. Uh, I really like Bell River for that reason. It has these summer vibes to it. Like, it's a quaint little beach town. It really is. Um, I think it's a really nice area. Okay, but anyway, just a reminder, guys. My name is Ryan. I'm a real estate appraiser and real estate agent in this area. I know all there is to know about real estate in this region, probably more than anyone else. So if you're looking to buy an investment property here or you're looking to move down here and you need some help, feel free to reach out. That's my phone number right there. It's on the screen. Now let's dive in. Okay, so you're going to come down 22, and you're going to turn down Icy Roy. And this is Monarch Meadows area, okay? That's what this is called. And there's two different price ranges in here, okay? Because you have this first part where Monarch Meadows Drive is and King Louie and all that. This is a really good spot to get a somewhat modern raised ranch for a good price. Right now, like I'll put some up on the screen. You can get a raised ranch for like 650 right now. Okay, these would have been 750, 800, 850 back when the market and it was hot in 2022. But now's a really good time to get in at a pretty decent price. Where else in Ontario can you get a 20 year old ranch for 650? Even in London, in like the East End where it's not as nice. I mean, you're paying seven, 750 for that kind of stuff. Here, you're in a beautiful neighborhood. Like this is, this is a really nice area, and you're getting in at a really good price. And that's part of the reason I like Bell River. Like I said before, I know you're 30 minutes from everything, but this is just one giant suburbia with a lot of newer homes. It's a really nice area. Okay? So, if we go a little bit further down into the Monarch Meadows area, like down here, the prices start to go up a bit. Like on Ryan Ave and, and Charlotte and all that, like you can get how, a big two stories with three car garages that are over a million dollars. Okay? That's in that area. Or uh, you can get some smaller ranches and stuff like that that's still relatively new, like built in like 2015 and 2010 and all that. Uh, and they're going to be around 850 right now, which again, I think is a good deal because those were well over a million dollars and they will be again very soon. I, I, I can't help but imagine. So that's like the first part of Monarch Meadows right there or of, of, of Lakeshore right there. And it's, it's Monarch Meadows. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you about? So, this is Oakwood Ave down here. Um, and down in this area is all new builds, okay? So, in fact, it's not even on... There's streets here that aren't even really on the map yet, okay? So, for example, Cypress Lane, okay? These are detached homes. 
this isn't even on the map yet, and they're asking, like, this is actually for sale right now. They're asking a million dollars for this right now. That's what a brand new detached home is going to cost you pretty much anywhere in Ontario. If we go over a little bit on Brunmar, okay, this, oh, these two streets right here, um, they're all semi-detached and they're a couple years old. So, uh, check out this one right here. This is a semi-detached. These are selling $750 to $850 depending on, on the house. Uh, they are really nice inside. They're going to have your ensuite washrooms and your walk-in closets and your granite countertops and all that stuff you would expect with a new build, but they are semi-detached in townhomes in this area. Um, again, yeah, you're paying seven fifty dollars for that. Um, you got Lakeshore Discovery Public School right here. This is like the main public school for this side of Lakeshore. So if we zoom out, you've got this one for the public board, and then you also have the, uh, over here somewhere there is the Bell River Public School. Both are pretty good schools. The Bell River School is, is an older building. This is like, Lakeshore Discovery was just built not that long ago. It's a brand new state-of-the-art building. Pretty good school. If you look at the Fraser Institute ratings, like they rate all the schools in Ontario, I talk about this a lot, but don't live and die by this. Like, it has a very mediocre rating right now. I don't know enough about the school to know why, if I'm really honest, but I know that in terms of just the reputation in the community, people tend to really like Lakeshore Discovery. So, I mean, don't live... There's, there's several different factors that probably play into these ratings. Don't live and die by that, okay? Uh, as for high schools in the area, there's just one. It's Bell River District High School. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, I want to show you... Yeah, the... Just so you get an idea... This on your screen right now is the Lakeshore Discovery boundaries, okay? And then this right here is the Bell River School public school boundaries, okay? And then all of this is served by Bell River High School. Down here, you see this right here? This is your Atlas Tube Center. This is like your main rec center for the area. They got like Olympic-sized pool. They got therapeutic pools. They got uh, ice rinks. They got soccer fields out there. You'll play squash there. Excuse me, you'll play tennis. It's, uh... Everything is in Lakeshore is going to really be located right here at this giant recreation center they built not that long ago. Okay, so let's move over here. So this is Renaud Line right here. This is where I would say that the Monarch Meadows area stops. And this is right here. You just get a little bit more Lakeshore. Um, down here on Legends Lane, okay, and Deer Run Trail. The Like most of these houses were in Lakeshore. They're, they're all built, most of them like within the last 10 years and some within the last 20 years. So... Up here, you'll get houses that are 20 years old, but down here, they're all pretty new. And you'll get houses that are over a million dollars down here on Legends Lane and uh, and Deer Run Trail. So, for example, this one right here, beautiful home. I love this home. Sold for $1.25 million, okay? Um, next to it, uh, around the corner, was this one. This one sold for 900k. It was built in 2015. Now it is a split level home, so there's a lot of stairs inside, a lot of different levels. Um, but it's usually like young families in this area anyway, and they're not too upset with climbing some stairs. Um, you also have this one right here. This sold right around 850. I think that's a deal. Again, that would have been a million dollars a year or two ago. Um, so that's all kind of what you're buying in this area. Anywhere from 800 to $1.25 million. Uh, they're beautiful homes, all relatively new. All right, if we scoot over just a little bit more. So here's Rourke Line, what I was telling you about. And so this is now the start of actual Bell River. When someone says, I live in Bell River, this is the furthest east that they mean, is in this neighborhood right here. And this is wonderful. I like, if you listen, again, Considering all of Ontario in mind, these are great deals for great homes. These are quiet little tree-lined communities with houses built at the latest the 80s in this section. But you'll get a lot of 90s and early 2000s, so you're talking 20 to 30-year-old homes for the most part. And they'll look like this. Okay, this guy sold for six fifty. That is, if you pick up this house and you put it in London, Kitchener, Waterloo, like... You're paying eight eight fifty for this, but like to live in this quiet, wonderful community of Bell River and to get this for six fifty, I think that's a deal. It was really nice inside, by the way. I'm not really supposed to show you too many photos of these houses. Like legally, you're not supposed to be able to identify the house on the street. So I don't want to tell you the street and I don't want to tell you the address, but I do want you to understand that that's a good price for a uh, a good house. 
You know what I mean? And then they had this one here. Um, this was on another street nearby. Sold right around the same price. Another awesome house inside, okay? So that's a really good area, especially right now, to get into to the Bell River region, okay? This is Bell River east of the actual river, what they call the actual Bell River. Um, Bell River District High School, like I talked about before, is right here. These are the boundaries for this high school. Again, so it's all of Lakeshore, pretty much, going right here to this high school. Um, what I want to show you. Okay, yeah, so this is the river. Okay, if you go up here, um, this is your, your beach town vibe I'm talking about. So this is the, uh, the beach that everyone hangs out at. And if you drive by there in the summers after school, you see all the high school kids going down to the beach, having a good time. It's, uh, it's really cool vibes. There's like a little walking bridge here that some of the kids will jump off going over into, into the water. I've seen that before. It's fine. It's deep there. It's not dangerous or anything. It's just a, it's a fun thing. It's a fun vibe in this community. I really do like it. Um, right here, is a really big park, and and here's the Bell River Marina, which is one of the nicer marinas in our area. Uh, so if you got a boat, you can park it there. Um, what else do I want to show you? So this is downtown Bell River. There's a lot of really uh, nice small shops and restaurants that are really good in the area. Um, again, okay, so here's like St. Charles and all around here. These are the really old houses, okay? They're, you're probably not going to want to be purchasing one of those. Some people will because they are cheap and they do make a good rental sometimes, but they are older, right? Um, whereas if you get down into here, Bell River, like I'm not going to go over it too much because it's all the same as what I showed you for west of the, the river there. They're all selling right now for six fifty to seven, seven fifty, depending on the house. And they're nice little raised ranches that are twenty years old. And I think that's a good price to get into this area at. One thing to keep in mind is these houses were built around the 2000s, which means a lot of them will have Kytec plumbing. If you don't know what that is, that's the plastic plumbing. And if they did not install it right, the your insurance will have a problem. So so okay, here, here's what I'll just say. When you're looking at those homes, take a look at the plastic plumbing. A lot of houses have it. A lot of people are happy with their house. But if you start to see corrosion, if you get a home inspection, your home inspector will show you this, there'll be corrosion around the pipe. Those need to be replaced. And I would stay away from a house that's having those problems because it pretty much all the piping in the house has to be replaced. That's very expensive. However, if you go down there and you look and there isn't really any, any corrosion, it's a 20-year-old house. If it hasn't corroded now, it's not going to. Uh, you're fine. Again, tens of thousands of homes all across Windsor, Essex, and all actually all of Ontario, millions of houses all over Ontario have old Kytec plumbing in it, and they're fine. It's just sometimes the way they installed it and the connectors that they used caused corrosion. So just be careful of that. Get a home inspection or have a realtor that knows what he's talking about when you're looking at these homes. One last thing I want to show you in Bell River that I really like. Okay, so up here, Summer Street, Spring Street, these are new builds from the last few years. These were well over a million. I think some of them still sell that price, but right now with the market being down, you can pick them up around eight, eight fifty right now. You're gonna get raised ranches, the f a few two stories, but a lot of raised ranches with that bonus room over the garage, so it adds some more space. Um, they're really nice homes. They're really not old, and they're really nice. Aside from that, you see this street here, Lakeview Drive, and then you got Sharon Beach Drive right here, and over here you have Cali, I think, uh, or Cali, however you might pronounce that. All these are backing on to Lake St. Clair. Okay, these are really nice homes. Some of them are small cottages. Um, you're going to pay a pretty penny for these. Like the lot alone is worth $600,000. And then if you get an old cottage on top of it that's not even that nice, it still might sell for seven, eight hundred thousand dollars $800,000. If you have a nice two-story, now you're going well over a million, okay? Uh, maybe I'll do some searching and put one or two up on the screen so you can see what they look like. Um really nice if you could afford to buy one backing onto the water. Occasionally you might find a two bedroom, one bathroom that's not too badly priced um, but they're going to be expensive just because they're backing onto this this big lake right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, I think that's most of all I really want to show you for the Bell River area right now. Oh look, Sup and Sun. I forgot about this. Uh, you can rent uh, paddle boards and stuff right here along the creek and you can either go out into Bell River or go down the creek really cool thing to do uh, a lot of fun hang out with your friends or take a date or do whatever um, 
Okay, so I completely skipped over this part of Lakeshore right over here. So we're over here right now, what we were mostly looking at. Over here is technically Lakeshore as well. So up here you have Russell Woods Drive. I just sold one not that long ago in here for like 1.4 million. They're custom built large homes, usually like 2,500 to 3,500 square feet, somewhere in there. They're very nice, very expensive. Um, they were built 20, 30 years ago, most of them, okay? Um, a lot of that is kind of similar past Patillo Road up until you get to Wallace Line, okay? So on Wallace Line, uh, over here we have Water Ave. These are all new builds by Lapico Homes, and they're all going well over a million dollars. I'll put some of them up on the screen here so you can kind of see how much they're selling for. I took a drive through there recently as well, so uh, you can see from here, uh, out my dirty window here, uh, what they look like. And then on the other side, of Wallace line over here you have like Raffy Crescent and stuff like that and these homes are five or six years old but they're very big as well and very nice and most of those sell well over a million dollars as well okay so that's a very pricey area of Lakeshore right there they're really nice homes um, I I'm running out of things to say right now but Lakeshore is not that big it's mostly just a giant suburbia remember you're 20 30 minutes in from town so if you work in town you're doing most people in Bell River are doing that drive every day because there's not a lot of people employing obviously in Bell River but um, if you want to live in the county or you want to live away from everything just in in the suburbs this is a great spot for you I love Bell River and I think you should check it out if you want to buy a house in Windsor or Lakeshore or wherever um, feel free to reach out to me I am a real estate appraiser I'm a real estate agent I know all there is to know about buying and selling houses in this region. So feel free if you want to know some more information or have updated pricing.